morning. Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly here coming to you using some absolutely gorgeous metallic colours this morning. And I'm going to use some aluminium foil to um, put my canvas, dip my canvas on. And I'm going to use these beautiful colours. Um, I maybe might throw some white and black in there too, or, or not dark blue. So first of all, started off with my colours, got them mixed. And in Australia, we call it aluminium foil. Not sure you call it all different sorts of names all over the world. So I'm starting off putting my aluminium foil down where my canvas is going to go. I do want to scrunch this aluminium up a bit so I get some texture on the canvas when I come to dip on it. So I've done this before and it does just adds a little bit of um, a textured look on your canvas. So if you scrunch it up a bit, you'll get that sort of textury look on your canvas. A little bit prettier than just leaving it um, flat, I think, anyway. So I've had to use these two pieces because I've got a canvas that I previously poured on that I didn't like, so I whitewashed it all off. So I've got my push pins on the back still. So I'm just testing that I've got enough area, which I have for my canvas and the other thing that I will do is just um, put a little bit of um, tape to hold my foil down on your surface. Oh, it's not going to rip with these gloves. Never mind. I'll just cut out the boring bits. Oops. Okay, I'll just tape that there. It's just so when I lift my canvas up, the whole of the alfoil doesn't lift up off. Yeah. So it's just a little bit of masking tape, which I could have done before, um, but I wanted to show you because a lot of people want the full instruction of how to do different um, things that I do. So. I have got another round ready just in case I've got more paint left on here and I can use that to dip on. So I've sort of done a crude little thing on the back to be able to lift it up. Uh, no, my normal thing is I don't have canvases or anything ready and I've got usually loads of paint to continue dipping with. So that one goes there. And that one goes there. So it just secures it a little bit when you come to lift your canvas off it. Oh, and the other thing, I might I'd go that way. Yeah, I might go that way. And then another thing I would like to do is just mark my corners, just so I don't put paint where it's not needed. I'm not gonna go right to the edges of this with my dips because I don't want to. So just kind of gives me a marker, which I uh, haven't got much room on this for error anyway, so maybe I should have stuck that from the other side. Silly Jilly, anyway, we'll just go with it. It's nothing that I can't fix. So first of all, I might just start off with giving my canvas just a very thin coat of white because I don't want to go right up to the edges. So I'll give it a very thin coat of white and I'll use my sponge brush. And I'm having to keep checking my camera because oh, two or three times my camera has just stopped and I've not realized till I got to the end of the video. Oh, and that is very disappointing that you've done a whole tutorial and it wasn't recording, but you get these little niches and nicks and things happening when you're trying to um, record a video for your YouTube channel or for anything else. Lemon squeegee. So I might pop that out of the way for a second or two and then start loading my canvas. I will put, oh, see, I'm 
probably better put a bit of, just put a bit, ah, silly jilly. Just putting the white on. I, I do these Vs quite often. You probably, if you follow my channel, you'll see me do these chevron Vs. I just find that they leave a really nice effect. Now, the one thing that definitely found when doing dips, the having your paint a bit thicker, you have less chance of your paint going muddy. Uh, and I always seem to make the same mistake over and over again and use thin paint. <laughs> so never mind, that's just my little quirk. So try and learn by my mistakes. So this is the metallic bronze. So I'm doing this particular dip. I don't think I've done a dip with the earthy colors for a long time. And I thought that would just be nice. I've had so many beautiful dips and people showing me their dips because you, it's a very easy beginner's one to do. And if you're doing it with children or you, your friends, you get good results and it makes you feel good because it looks good. So you needn't, certainly needn't be an artist to give this a go. Now this is my champagne gold, which is 50% um, oops, oh, I did a big squeege there, so it must be blocking it up. It's 50% a metallic gold, 50% silver. So, um, and then I've got my antique gold and I've pre-mixed this up too and the one color that I was going to mix up was some burnt umber but I didn't so I want to put a dark color in to make it pop so I may go the black or a navy um, <clears throat> actually I'll put some turquoise in now, I'm not sure if this is thin so oh it is a bit thin I'd much prefer to have it darker but never mind it's there now I'm just hoping that I don't send it muddy and I have got a bit of this is very dark navy almost black so we will see won't we If you were doing it and you're a beginner, please start with your paints a lot thicker than what I've got because there is a chance this will come out muddy because my paints are not very thick. Oh, it just started to rain outside. Rain, we've had so much rain this year, it's unbelievable. Okay, I'm not going with any other colors. I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm going to try it. Ugh. Let's see what we get. So it's good having the push pins on the bottom. So you can, ooh, ooh, ooh. you know, use it to push down. There's me roller. I've got this little roller that seems to help me when I'm doing this. You can certainly just use your hand to push it out. This little roller is a good gadget for doing this. Right, if you are left with any blank spots underneath that the paint hasn't hit, hit the canvas, it, it's absolutely fine because you can correct that with a little, with a balloon show you what I mean now maybe I lift it up this way Ooh. come on oh 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 my goodness that looks like certainly looks like an under under oceany really see the effects that the crinkled alfoil gives it kind of looks like an under ocean, so you could certainly embellish that with some tropical fish, I guess. And this is what I mean oh, by your balloon, like 
I can dip some of my paint onto the balloon and any areas that I want to embellish with the balloon is absolutely um, easy to do when you've so I can put a few in here and there just keep wiping your balloon off so you don't get muddy bits well that looks like a shell it does look like shells on the bottom of the sea rather than oh look at that oh so beautiful if you roll your balloon you don't have to do this certainly don't have to um, those colors are lovely it turned out beautiful I think I'd like it better the way I'm looking at it so I'll turn it round and let you have a look these certainly look like you know those shells on the bottom of the ocean so wow colors are really lovely I'd either have it either way I guess I turn it around that's pretty nice I'm not sure whether I should dip further in that or oh, that is very nice it looks like an absolute under the ocean effect I haven't I'm not got enough paint on there to dip the other products I've got but you can see how it's crinkled on the um, foil that gives this different effect on your canvas like a real textured effect and that is absolutely super duper you beaut i think it's lovely i really do have a go of it it's such fun to do and you can do it with the children like i said do it with your friends with a cup of tea or a glass of wine whatever's your poison as they say um but just enjoy because you can get some really good results out of that technique and it's very easy so give it a go and um, let me know how you go please give me a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't it costs absolutely nothing and it helps me along um, until tomorrow my lovelies please take care and have a lovely week what's left of it until tomorrow okie doke bye for now oh, just wanted to bring you down to see these sort of rippled effects it definitely looks fantastic whimsical and fantasy and whimsical like an undersea like those you know it's created movement in it having that texture there I just wanted you to see how cool I think it looks and it's so much fun to do I love the colors but yeah remember if you're doing it keeping your paints on the thicker side does help Oh, they definitely look like shells, don't they, with those, what the balloon has created. Okie doke, just wanted to show you.